the nickel cadmium or NICAD rechargeable battery. Well, here's the equation for the discharge part of the cycle. I'm pretty sure he won't be asked to learn this though. The cadmium gives off two electrons and that goes to the nickel three oxide hydroxide at the other electrode. Here are the two half equations and try to find which one is losing electrons. Yes, the bottom one, the cadmium is losing electrons, throwing off electrons. So that must be the negative electrode, the one where electrons are being generated. And that's also oxidation is loss of electrons for that bottom equation, the negative electrode, which means that's the anode. So on the charging cycle, you just have to reverse those equations. And now electrons go from the nickel two hydroxide to the cadmium hydroxide. As your battery is charging. All right, so let's try and name these chemicals. This is nickel oxide hydroxide. Well, you have to give me an oxidation state to work out which nickel oxide hydroxide it is. So let's put in the oxidation states here. Oxygen in the compound, minus two, hydrogen, plus one. So that gives me nickel as plus three. So that's nickel three oxide hydroxide. All elements are zero, cadmium is zero. Hydrogen in a compound, plus one, oxygen minus two. And that brings us to these two hydroxides. So I can see, I know that Hydroxide has a negative charge, and the overall, this is a neutral compound. So nickel must have a two plus charge overall, if that's neutral. So that's nickel two hydroxide, and that must be cadmium two hydroxide. So you can see that the hydrogen remains at plus one, oxygen remains at minus two, so they're not the ones involved in this redox reaction. Oxidation and reduction. Nickel is going from plus three oxidation state to plus two, that's reduction. Which means that this must be the oxidizing agent. An oxidizing agent is itself reduced little song for you there. You can't write OA, that's a Netflix 14 hour TV show that I wasted my time on and didn't really enjoy, but the sunk cost fallacy meant I had to see it all. You have to write oxidizing agent. And don't say nickel is the oxidizing agent. No, 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 there is no nickel here. That's the nickel three plus iron. To save any confusion, just write this whole thing out as the oxidizing agent. Onto cadmium, that goes from zero to plus two, so that is oxidation, which means that this cadmium must be the reducing agent. Cadmium is the reducing agent. Pros and cons of the NICAD nickel cadmium rechargeable battery. A pro, well, it's a secondary cell, which means you can recharge it. Not all batteries can be recharged. And cons, it's only 1.2 volts, whereas most AA batteries are 1.5 volts. It's a little less voltage than you might need, so it's not good for every application. And of course, cadmium is very toxic. Uh, your body thinks that it's the calcium iron, when really it's the cadmium iron. So when you throw away your cadmium battery, you, you, sh you should recycle it. If you're curious, look up Itai Itai disease. That's what cadmium poisoning looks like. And we're done. Oh, it's such a nice day. What am I inside doing chemistry videos for? The snow's just melted. Good morning, Moscow. <laughs>